if you find that you need yourself a lot of this to eat, or maybe you need yourself a lot of this to do a little bit of landscaping, spreading some moss around, beating up the growth of crops, or maybe you just need some bone blocks. If any of this is the case, I have the farm for you. Let's go. Today, we're going to be making a new kind of fish farm. This fish farm is new with 1.19. It's easier than the old fish farms. And because it's easier and requires less materials, it's going to be a lot faster. And I got a material list here for you. And inside of this chest is all the materials you're going to need. You're going to need any type of like solid block to build with, whatever you want to decorate it with or, or make it look like is fine. You'll also probably want some glass because you're going to need to build an AFK spot a little bit above one of the platforms. Or you're going to need some hoppers and some chests. You can kind of decide how much of that you're going to need. And in case you didn't guess it, we will be using the LA as our collection system. We're actually going to need to get five allays. Now, I'm going to be sure to show you how to breed them up if you don't know how to, or in this case, clone the allay. It's very easy to do. You're going to need to have yourself one jukebox, one disc, and then four amethyst crystals and one allay. But if you already have five allays, then you don't need any of that extra stuff. Uh, all the rest of the materials you can see are here, including the soul sand. Now, you could technically make this farm larger or smaller, depending on what you want to do. I'm going to show you the size here that I want to make. So if you want to follow this block for block, this is what you need. But if you would like to start out with something smaller, you will need significantly less of the soul sand and of the smooth stone. First thing you're going to want to do is find a big open space of water that you know spawns fish. There are some certain biomes, ocean biomes, that might not spawn fish. But you don't want to make this in one of the coral reefs because we're not trying to get tropical fish here. We're trying to get regular fish. You could technically make this work for a river as well, although I'm not going to be showing that in this video. But as we can see here, I have fish spawning in this ocean right here. So this is going to be the perfect spot for us. And I'm just going to go out a little ways, give myself plenty of space. Uh, I didn't measure, but you want to probably be at least 30 to 40 blocks away from shore to make this farm, just to make sure that fish can spawn in every area that you're going to be using. Now we're going to start with the center of our farm here, and that's going to be with the note blocks. We're going to go ahead and we're going to place that down right here, right at water level. We're then going to come out with a... A temporary block right here we're gonna face a hopper into that and we're just gonna loop some hoppers into this like that that way all of our items can kind of flow in and flow across and then they're gonna make their way to this front hopper right here and actually let's go ahead and let's bring that out by one and then we can I guess really just drop down from here and this is actually where our storage chests are gonna go so we can go down probably skip this top one right here and we could put our chest here underwater. Now, if you want to put your chest somewhere else, I'll let you figure out exactly how you're going to get it above water. I'm going to show you guys the easy way of doing things today. And that's going to be putting the chest underwater. So it's going to require the least amount of setup for you. Uh, we also want to face a hopper forward right there, just like that. So that's our storage system already done. Okay, now underneath this note block right here, you're going to want to put some type of solid block. I recommend getting a bone block because a bone block is going to make the note block make a very quiet sound. And then we're going to just simply take three blocks, one, two, three, just like this. We're going to face a comparator into there. We're going to have a hopper facing into this hopper. Break this one, face that hopper into that hopper. And then if you throw an item into this, you can hear that we are getting a note block sound. Now, I don't need this playing right now, so I'm actually just probably going to turn this off. I can put this lever on any one of these blocks down here is fine. And bam, it's not playing anymore. Next, I'm going to build myself a little bit of a platform. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to surround this area just like this. And then we're going to build up a border around that. That's going to keep us from falling off the edge and uh, kind of help the um, allays direct their items into the hoppers here. Now, we need to make sure our LAs don't throw items on top of the music box here, and we cannot block the music box. I keep saying music box, the note block like this, because that will block the sound coming out of it and it'll stop working. So we're gonna use trap doors. We're gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
and one, two, three. The reason why we're using a note block is because the LA is going to be attracted to the sound of the note block, and it's going to want to bring all the items and drop them off here. It's actually going to drop them on top of these hoppers, so all those items will make their way down there. Okay, so regardless of how big you're doing the farm, this part right here is always going to be the same. But now is where we're getting to the part where the size is kind of up to you. Now, the way that I sized it is honestly pretty large, and this thing is really fast. And I'm going to go out 17 blocks from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this is going to be my new border. I can take these out. Now, you might not want to go out 17. Honestly, going out something like 12 or 10 is probably going to be a decent size if you only need this for a fair amount of bone meal and some fish to eat. If you're doing this for a server or you really need a lot of bone meal for some reason, then you may want to go the full 16. You could technically go bigger, but honestly, this is going to be fast enough. And we're going to do that 17. We're going to do that out of each side. And now you're going to want to connect all the sides together just by taking these blocks out like this. Okay, now that that's done, you want to take this little like start or beginning of a wall. You're going to want to bring that down by two and then fill that in all the way around. And this is going to be kind of the wall of our farm. Okay, now what you should have is a pretty large area. Next thing we want to do is we want to get our soul sand and the soul sand is going to go right below this. And there's going to be two blocks of water above the soul sand. That is what you want. If you only have one block of water, your farm's going to be less than half as fast. If you add it in more blocks of water above, it's not going to change the speed of the farm at all. So having two blocks of water above the soul sand is the best height to do it. And you're going to want to fill in the whole area inside of here. And then when you get to this part right here, you really could just do the same thing we did over there where you bring us down by two blocks underwater like this. And then your soul sand is going to be sitting right here. It'll kind of border this. Okay, and there's somewhat of a graphics glitch going on with the water right now. I don't quite understand it, but let's kind of talk about how things work a little bit. And uh, let's get this trap door on here. So a Minecraft Bedrock Edition fish will spawn anywhere from 12 to 32 blocks away from the player. So when we're sitting here, AFK, we need to be at least 12 blocks away from water. Well, water level is at Y level 63. Look at the top left corner of the screen. We're at 63 when we're standing right there. So if we wanted water right here to be 12 blocks away, we would go up to 75. But to keep it simple, since it's a sphere, as far as that spawn area, we can actually be a little bit lower than that and fish will still spawn out in this area. So instead of going to 63, we're gonna to go to 73 and that's gonna help us make sure that fish are spawning all the way out in these outer reaches. And also I said that you can make this farm bigger. Actually, now that I think about it, you really couldn't make it any bigger than this because if you did, the fish would not spawn in like the outer edges because you'd be too far away from them. Now, if you're enjoying this video, you need to help me out. There's a like button down below, click it. Also, subscribe button. Click that too. There's a place you can type in comments. Type in the comments. Those things help YouTube recommend this video to other people. So please do them for me. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, you can click the join button down below or click the super thanks button and leave a super thanks comment on the video. Let's get back into it. Okay, so next we do want to build our AFK platform so we can stand in that optimal spot, which is 10 blocks above here, Y level 73. So I'm going to show you an easy way to get your way up. We can go ahead and we can stand on the edge here. We can open that up. We could jump up here and now we're on top of this area. Uh, maybe instead of having this on top, maybe we do this, right? Let's go ahead. Let's put a lock right here and then we're going to take this up to 73. Now, once you get yourself up to the top right here, uh, go ahead and put yourself a few glass blocks down like this and then build yourself a little bit of a box. This is going to protect you while you AFK, keep phantoms from getting you, keep other potential bad things from getting you uh, just by boxing yourself in. And if you see yourself as the type to maybe fly into this area, maybe you'll go ahead and you'll put a trap door right there. That way you can fly yourself up to the top, let yourself in. And also we need to be able to get in this way too because our ladder's gonna go there. So we're gonna knock this up. We're gonna put a trap door right here. And then 
we could put a few pieces of ladder one two three four five six now if we needed to get up here we could easily jump across climb up and then now we're up and we probably want to put that down too there we go now we've made ourselves up in here and now we can safely stay in while our fish spawn which we're going to do here in a moment. They're not spawning yet because I turned spawning off because it was getting too laggy. But now we need the LA. OK, so next what you want to do is you want to you could do it here or you can do it off to the side somewhere. If you do it over here, I would just make sure that your uh, music box is turned off. Uh, what we could do is we could put down a jukebox. I said music box turned off. I definitely told him it note block. Uh, we're going to put this down. We're going to put our music disc in. We're going to play some Lena Rain other side, which is the best disc in the game. Yes, I said it better than pig step. And then once you bring in a layover, like say this guy right here, if you give him an amethyst shard, it'll clone him and make a second delay. After we wait two minutes, we can clone the two of them to have four lays. And then we can clone one more to have five lays. Five is going to be the perfect number for this farm. Now, I'm going to keep this on for a moment to keep the delay here because I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to give myself a way down to our chest. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, trap door right here. We just put ourselves a couple ladders so we can easily get up and down right here. That gives us a way in here and we want to turn on our note block now. So we're going to click this button to turn on our note block. We're going to go back up top. And now is really the last piece is we need to give the allays one of each item we're going to try to collect here. All right, so you're going to hand two allays a piece of cod. Cod, cod. Come here, buddy. That's going to make those two get cod for us. Cod is the most common item you're going to get here. Next, we're going to hand one a raw salmon. We're going to hand one a bone. Remember, this is bedrock edition. We get full bones. If you're on Java edition, you only get bone meal. And then we have a fifth one somewhere. Two, three, four. Hello. Oh, he made his way over here. We're going to hand this fifth one right here an ink sack because we will get some squids in here. And we're going to go back this way. He's going to follow us over. And once he's in range of this note block, he'll stay over here. All right, now we're good. Now I can get rid of this. We have that like ticking sound. I can turn mob spawning back on so you guys can see exactly what's going on here because it is awesome. Okay, mob spawning is turned on. So again, if I were um, doing this in survival, I would go up here like this. I would probably fall down once or twice. That's fine. And we can stand up here directly above our platform, which is the spot right here. And then you guys can look and see all of the fish that are just exploding out of this farm and then what is happening is those fish since they're getting pushed up by the soul sand they are actually suffocating in the air um they're staying above air so they're they're reverse drowning is exactly what's happening and then the la they're able to go and pick up all of their items that are bouncing up there above water and they're going to take them back and as you can see they're throwing them there at the hoppers and then if we were to go down here and take a look, which you could probably get rid of all the water out of here, even give yourself a little bit of a platform underneath. I think I actually allotted for the platform in my um, in my materials list that I gave you guys. Run a little platform over here. Now you can see all the items that are dropping into this chest. And as I said earlier, this thing is incredibly fast. It is ridiculously fast, almost to the point where the hoppers are just going nonstop. I mean, they pretty much are, but don't worry, the system does not get backed up at all. Now, another note for you guys that are a little bit more technical, you're going to see squids and you're going to see dolphins spawning around the outside of here. That's because they can spawn a lot further than 32 blocks away. So there's no way to prevent that um, unless you AFK really high up in the air, at which point you would only get squid and dolphins. Also, the reason why we don't have any fish appearing around the outside is because, again, the outside, the like ocean floor, all of this area is more than 32 blocks away from me while I'm inside of there, including this area down here is now non spawnable because fish will only spawn when exposed to like air they will not be a what you call a cave spawn meaning they will not spawn with a block over top of them you cannot have any fish at all spawn down here if you come check periodically you might find some glow squid down here though because they will spawn underneath solid blocks if you would like to download this fish farm right here a world with this fish farm in it check the description down below you can find a place where i put all of my farms in a public folder that you can access and download also make sure you click the like button 
subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support the channel monetarily, you can either click the join button below to become a member, or you can leave a super thanks on this video. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the farm and you have a good one.